Parker Anderson with Homegrown Organic Farms and uh, we're here in uh, Kingsburg in an apricot patch. We're on the front end of the uh, stone fruit season here. Yeah, just out here trying to get a grasp on what kind of a crop we have. As you can see, we've just finished the bloom time. Things are starting to leaf out and we're starting to see actually what kind of fruit we have on the tree. The earliest indications are we've got a lot of apricots to sell. As for the peaches and nectarines that come a little later, that's kind of to be determined, but um, definitely wanted to get a jump on these apricots and just let everyone know there's promotions available. I just wanted to show some uh, earliest stages of fruit growth here. The blooms are mostly off now, and we've, we're starting to see some of these little fruits develop. This is the Kylie's variety, and this is, uh, they are very fragile. So at this point, we do not want a freeze. Uh, we would like the weather to stay above 32 degrees for as long as possible. We are in an organic, uh, patch here. All of our stone fruit that we uh, that we market is organic. Our entire program is certified through EFI, the Equitable Food Initiative, and uh, ROC, the Regenerative Organic uh, Certificate through the Regenerative Organic Alliance. And so what we're doing here is we're just building soil health. We're encouraging the nutrient development of the soil and you know with the idea that that nutrients are, are then absorbed by the tree and uh, gets us a uh, uh, a really nice, healthy piece of organic fruit. In this industry this year, obviously there's a lot of changes with, with one of the largest shippers not being in the game this year. They had peaches, nectarines, plums, the whole lineup, except for apricots. So there's not gonna be less apricots in the industry this year. That being said, if you wanna grab organic sales dollars in your fresh stone fruit categories, apricots is a great way to do that.